All right, welcome to Orange Juice Podcast. Today we're in Austin's car. And Close the door, Dave. We are recording an episode for Can I roll down the windows our least? guest today, who is... Can you turn it on? Gunner, that is it. That, that's, that's Gunner. <laughs> All right. You want to start, Dave? Am I starting it? Okay, Gunner. So, where are you from? It's a rough location. Rough location? Uh, 30 minutes south from here. I was born in Chicago, though. You what? Chicago. what? Yeah, I was I was born in Chicago and then I moved to uh, Omaha, Nebraska. And then what the hell? Never heard about this. And Jesus then Christ. I moved down here and this is the fourth house I have lived in in Southern California. Wait, so okay. Jesus. When did you Christ. actually like move here? Move here? I was young. Uh I I have some whack ass like family in Chicago. Like burned down houses and shit so we decided to move when i was very young which was probably around one ish moved to no omaha nebraska which apparently just sucked so then we moved when i was three or four i can imagine moved here and then i stayed in the first house that we moved into for what eight ish years and then ever since then it was about i want to say two years like two years in the other houses and i've been in this one for i think the entirety of high school I don't know if those numbers add up. They're very rough numbers. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to get straight into the nitty gritty. So do you want to talk about your father? Sure. I mean, so my father died when I was five years old from two tumors, one in his stomach, one in his brain. I mean, I, I don't know what else to say. Like, I just yeah. grew up without a father. So did you, did you, like, understand that at the time? Or was that... Uh, it was weird. Uh, I'll be real. It was very odd. Like, I, uh... My thing is, like, people ask me a lot, like, kind of how it is, and it's it's very normal to me, just because if he died later in life, it would have been weirder, but I just grew up without a father. I mean, what, I only have a, memories that span back to maybe when I was three-ish, four-ish, and he died when I was five, so I have, like, two recollections of him, and that's about it. Yeah. Um... By the way, I just want to say, I read your uh, Parker poem, or the haiku that they oh, got. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a fire haiku. Uh, that came because I was writing my personal essay for college. Yeah. And I was just like, eh, fuck it. I think, <laughs> I think he'll enjoy it. Yeah. It was a very sad poem. I read it, too. Really? Yeah. Yes. You want to read it? Do you, do you know it by heart? I do not know it by heart. I Damn. read it. <laughs> so, it was basically, it was something like uh, a golden watch. It's been... Uh, like 13 years since uh his final gift but just basically i got a um when he was in chemotherapy he was actually still working to try to support my family so i mean he would literally be in the hospital bed on his computer doing work and he knew he was going to die while doing it so but the reason being is he was getting close to the 25 mark for the company that he worked for and once he got to the 25 year mark which he did get to he got the golden watch, and then he got um, I free uh, health insurance for my mom until she dies, and free health insurance for me and my sister until we're 25. And then uh, something else that basically just gives, like, I think it might have been like a pension that we got because of it. Mm-hmm. So basically, like, he got to that so he can support my family after he died, and he knew that was going to happen. So I was like, also part of like that final gift thing was the final watch. Cool. Okay, um, do you want to talk about your sister? Because, um, from what you've told me, I feel like the effect was more great on her because she was, like, older. Uh, she was older. I don't know. We don't really talk about that much. We're real with you. I mean, me and my sister are very different and truthfully don't talk that often. So, she is 19. She's going to be turning 20 in a few months. Um, I don't know. We're, we're very different. I think... It did affect her more, but I also think sometimes that um, she likes to use it as a reason for, like, other things that it didn't necessarily affect. Like, I think she uses it as um, almost an excuse sometimes. Like, and that sounds, like, horrible, but, like, I think there's some things that are very unrelated to it that she tries to say, like, oh, well, like, I was older, I experienced it more, I got, like, a lot more trauma out of it, and I'm sure that's true. But there's degrees where sometimes I think it's... That's kind of like uh, That's Euphoria. Strange. Y'all don't watch that, but... Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why do you gotta bring everything to Euphoria? Because Euphoria is like a great show. Shut, oh shut the fuck God. up. We don't. <laughs> okay, 
Okay. Um, geez, man. So, it, your family is also like vegetarian. That's always interested me. How you're able to live just like a normal life with your family being vegetarian? Yeah. So, is it like you still eat meat in the house, right? Yeah. So, uh, my mom is vegetarian. My sister is vegan, and they've both been like that for years now. I don't even know when that started. Uh, I'm the only one in my family that eats meat. It's more of, like, I'll still eat meat in the house because my sister did it for animal reasons and my mom was more for health reasons. Mm -hmm. And, uh, so my mom is, like, fine with, like, making meat and, like, cooking and preparing it and all that. But she just doesn't want to eat it. And, um, my sister is not fine with, like, cooking or any of that. But, so I'll still eat meat in the house. I'll still, like, when we go out for food, like, I'll still order meat. Like, they have no problem with it. My sister did at first when she became vegan. But I think that's just because she was younger and she was, like... She was the vegan where, like, you know she's vegan because she'll tell you. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, there'd be some things, like, if I ate something that wasn't vegan, like, she'd leave the room. <laughs> she'd be like, I, I'm i out. <laughs> like, did you ever try it? Did I ever try... vegan or, be, or like, no. vegetarian? No, I didn't. I was like, I need protein. Meat is good. I... She... I, I got showed all the videos for, like, you huh. know, like, this is how this is made. Isn't that disgusting? Stop eating meat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but... You're like, cool. I don't care. I was like, cool, this is good. Well, because my logic with it as well was like, like she's like, you're killing an animal. I'm like, the animal's already dead. I didn't kill it. Like, if I don't, like, buy it from the store, someone else will. Like, it's not like I'm bringing it back to life by not eating it. Yeah. Like, yeah. it doesn't, like, me being vegan really won't change much in my mind. And mm-hmm. I, how, uh, how aside from that, sister? my sister's 19, about to turn 20. Oh, okay. So you're not that far apart. No, we're two years. So, from what you told me from your freshman year, you had, like, a harder transition. Can you talk about that? Wait, talk about your... No, 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 sorry. First, talk about your middle school, because you had, like, a very fun middle school experience. I did have a fun middle school experience. I enjoyed my middle school a lot. We had a smaller grade, our grade... I know some of you had very, very small, but for us, it was small. It was, like, um, we had 60 people in our grade, and, like, the next biggest uh, grade was around, like, 30 people. So... Damn. We had a big grade for our school, but to me, it still felt very small. Um, I think I just met a lot of good and fun people from there. Like, now I only talk to, I think, three-ish of the people from my middle school that I keep consistently in contact with. But then there's some that I uh, I do, like, still talk to um, every so often. Like, I have a group that I play poker with every so often. Um... Why? <laughs> Stop interrupting. <laughs> but I, I have a group from my middle school that I uh, play poker with, which is every so often, but I don't see them, like, consistently. I remember you talking about, like, fighting on them in a boxing match. Uh, no, there is one of them that I was talking about. Did that ever happen? No, so both of his parents are comps, and they said no, and if they say <laughs> no, I'm not trying to fuck with that. Right. Oh, I remember that. True. Yeah, so... That wasn't gonna happen, um... What, what other stupid shit went on in middle school? I plagiarized an entire final project and flipped my teacher <laughs> off when she called me out for it. I got a nice. pink slip, which is like basically a referral. Yeah. 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 Uh, because. Orange juice. I made a. Uh, is, is this OJ Pod? Yeah. 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 Wow. What's good? What's good? <laughs> That's me right there. He'll be on sometime. <laughs> Uh, I, uh, what else? So, plagiarized, flipper off, I got a referral for making, uh, an abundance of Helen Keller jokes. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> uh, what else do I, I, there's some other stupid shit I did. you want to give an example? No, no. no, no, no please, that. we're keeping a PC. We're not gonna get canceled on here. No, they're, yeah. I mean, they were all on the right, but every time, like, I got it, I'm like, this is bullshit. I can't believe they give it to me. It's, 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 only, it's only Helen Keller jokes. Come on. For reference, I would be making them for like probably like half an hour in my class. Like, they're, they're terrible. Um, I got away with a lot of shit though because I was a. My sister was a very good student and didn't talk to a lot of people. So when I got those same teachers, they were like, oh, like Gunner, like you must be just like your sister. I'm like, yeah, sure, fucking. Um, because I got a lot away with a lot of shit. Like, uh, I started... In our choir class, we had, like, those little, um... Stools. Like, we had, like... You, you guys ever had, like, those lab stools? Yeah. yeah. We, yeah. We, we had, like, some of those in, like, our, like, uh, choir classroom. 
and about halfway through class i just kind of started building a wall and like i was friends <laughs> with all of the boys that were in the bases and they started doing it with me and we literally made like one like full of like 20 chairs because like she was away or not paying attention or whatnot and uh when she turned around she was like who did this and i'm pretty sure a lot of them got in trouble for it and she's like gunner and like spencer you can go and we got <laughs> we, we got to go Damn. for it because she's like you wouldn't do that um, yeah, of course not. There was one where she had, like, an extra cookie from something, and she was, like, all right, whoever is, like, the best student in this class gets it. Uh, when she walked out of the classroom, I fucking took it. I I don't remember if I licked it or not. I might have fake licked it. But <laughs> Dog. I, I went up when she was out, grabbed it, did whatever, and then left. Um, I ended up getting the cookie because I was the best student that day, and I got body slammed by my friend to try to take it from me. Um, but she, like, next class, she was like, I was told by someone, like, you took a cookie. I'm like, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> but she didn't give me anything for that. I, that was probably my favorite teacher. I'm trying to think of what other teacher. Oh, uh, in my Mandarin class, uh, I moved my seat around, like, the entire classroom in the middle of the class. Because we had those chairs that were attached to the desk. So you can kind of, like, backpedal on them and it'd move the seat around. I did that, like, a full lap around, like, my classroom. And she literally just didn't say anything about it. And, like, I'd have a friend that would talk to me and he'd get in trouble. Or I'd talk to him and, like... I, I remember there was one time you got a pink slip because I talked to him. And she's like, you're just, like, you're distracting him. Like, he wouldn't have talked to you if you weren't the way you are. <laughs> like, so I was basically just seen as a golden child. At least by some teachers. Obviously, the like, history teacher that I plagiarized and flipped around wasn't a... How many women future. were you getting at this time? Uh, well, I was approximately 4'10", so no bitch... No, um... I technically, like, it was weird, because, like, we said that we dated, like, fifth grade, and then there's another girl that, like, we said we dated eighth grade, but, like, I didn't do shit with either of them. So, like, fifth grade, that one was, like, a genuine, like, a year, and we, like, didn't even hold hands. It was just, like, oh, like, hi, like, we just say that we're dating. Like, uh, never mind. <laughs> like, oh, like, a no, no, like, a. Alright, but uh, oh. oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I I didn't even hear what you said, but I know where you're about to go. From. Oh my god! <laughs> 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 Dude, oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Back in track. I'm sorry. sorry. Uh, are you ready? You ready for high school now? <laughs> uh, then we had eighth grade, which like. <laughs> Hey, shut the fuck up. <laughs> we had, uh, we had eighth, like, the eighth grade one, which lasted a few months. And then, like, I was gonna kiss her, and then I was, like, scared for it, so I just, uh... Pussy! I got, like, she, like, cheated on me, I guess oh. you could say, and, like, she kissed the guy that would get a pink slip for talking to me, or for me talking to him. It'd be your own people. So, full circle. Mm. No, that guy's weird. Like, I do not fuck with him at all anymore, because, like, she sent, like, death threats to like one of my friends because like Fuck. she was like i'm not gonna send you nudes and he's like i have a gun and i know where you live That's crazy. what holy shit yeah no he's not a good person um has he been arrested yet no he's he in like arrested. he's in like military school i think you can arrest someone for a threat to murder yeah but like a lot Snapchat, of times though. police no, no no but a lot of times police need like actual action in order to do something no, yeah, you, you have to get, get shot arrested. first. No, you, get arrested. you can get arrested for a threat to murder. Yeah, right? red one, red one's right. Like, I'm not sure, dude. Why would that not? That's the whole. <laughs> <laughs> that's the whole argument with like, um, is it like you know? Can you arrest for someone for like oh, no, no, no. thinking they're about okay, to do it? Like in lay terms down, of like stalking, down. like if somebody stalks you, you they can't like. That's not stalking. That's not stalking. I know. That's threatening I know. Like murder. Tyler, something. if someone sends you a Snapchat with holding a gun and says send nudes. Is that threatening enough to get arrested? Six dudes want to. No, she. Out. No, he. he <laughs> <laughs> guys, we're trying to get arrested. You're, you're not gonna be all. You're not gonna be all. Tyler, you're too Tyler. fucking big, Dude, bro. just keep the door Tyler, open. Tyler, sit up here. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. Gunner pod. Gunner pod. Gunner pod. Okay, Gunner. Transition into high school. Uh, uh, you say that was hard for you. you high school. Me. Yeah. Uh, high school. Oh, I didn't want to go. Tyler, like, just sit why up here. Why the window? Because there's people over there. I'm gonna get I like loudy. Loud. Loudy <laughs> for yes. for high school. Uh, I didn't want to go to uh, the high school we go to now because all my friends went to a different one that was more south down here. Um, like genuinely, I think like ninety 
like 90 95 percent of my friends literally all went there and like there was like one or two that went to other schools i came here with uh three other people from or from my uh, no, fuck. you guys gotta cut that out my oh, no, yeah, yeah, uh but i came i came here with uh three other people from my middle school and um all of which i didn't really talk to i talked to three people yeah three people from my middle school three can you just say the names i'll cut them out yeah uh Yeah. What the what? what? Oh, you guys don't know that's what I was referring to. That's crazy. What? Y'all gotta cut this out, but yeah. It's just <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, we're gonna yeah. this because we only have eight minutes. So, uh, you want to transfer, so why do you make the decision not to transfer? I didn't. I didn't. I wanted to, and I asked my mom, and she's like, haha, I already enrolled you again. So, like, it literally wasn't my choice. Like, mm -hmm. freshman year, I was like, oh, like, I don't want to go to, like, uh, I don't want to go here. And then she was like, oh, I already enrolled you. I'm like, all right, I'll change like sophomore year. And I was planning on it. Like I even, uh, I shadowed like the school that I wanted to go to again, just because I wanted to see my friends. I was bored. Um, and then I was like, yep, yeah, like this is fun. Like I'd much rather be here because freshman year I was like super antisocial because my entire thing was like, all right, I'm going to leave the school. Like there's no point in like talking to other people here because it's so far. Like I'm not going to like hang out with these people. And then uh, I was like, all right, I want to go like to the other school. And she's like, no, I already enrolled you again. <laughs> so I feel like sophomore year, and then when you get into a relationship eventually, that's when you start to make the change in your attitude where you have become more more extrovert. I'm not going to say extrovert, but you have become more extroverted through the time. I don't think I'm necessarily extroverted. I think I'm very shy when meeting new people. Um, but sophomore year, like... Starting sophomore year, I was like, all right, like, I'm going to stick here because I knew I wasn't going to change junior year. And I knew if I asked my mom, I would do the same thing again. Hold up, we hung out freshman year. Yeah, I remember. We we went to the movies on my birthday. He's saying he didn't yeah, fuck yeah. with us, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we even made that Spanish video. We did make that Spanish video. I remember you asked me about my dad. That was so awkward. I think oh you do. You, do you still have the video? Of that? I do. We made yeah, we made that Spanish video, and he's like, "Oh, like we were supposed to introduce ourselves in our family, and then <laughs> yeah, he and said, I ask questions about it, and he goes, "What about your dad?" Yeah, he goes, <laughs> he goes, he goes, uh, yeah, it's me, my mom, and my sister, and I go, "Oh, you forgot about your dad," and he's like, "Uh, <laughs> uh no, I didn't, <laughs> dude. No, we had to make a family tree in Spanish. You know how weird that was." Cause it was like I don't remember that. It, it was. It might have been sophomore year, but for uh, so for a reference, so obviously that is dead. But aside from that, I don't know anyone on that side of the family. Mm -hmm. So I got like half my family. I got mom and sister, and then I got the two grandparents. Mm -hmm. uh, my mom has four brothers, one of which is like estranged, and it's just like, oh, we don't talk about him. Um, is the I don't know if I'm gonna say this. Do I include this? I feel like you should cut this part. Yeah, I'm we should probably, probably cut this out, but I'll, I'll add on to it real quick. So that was embarrassing. Um, yeah, my entire family tree is really weird. For, for the family tree, because we had to draw it out in Spanish, it was literally just like, I put like half of it, and she's like, where's the other half? I'm like, I don't know. I'm going to be real with you. Like, I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, Man. How's your relationship with your mom? Because your mom's really cool. She's like... Great relationship. I mean... Like, I think part of it, honestly, is because my dad died, and I think she feels the pressure to kind of almost try to make up for it, because, mm -hmm. you know, so she's right. one person supporting two kids going to, like, school, I mean, and then also trying to have, like, a relationship with them while also, like, doing this full-time job, so very admirable, in my opinion, just, like, work ethic and everything, but, for um, sure. yeah, I mean... She's done a lot, but my, my relationship with her is really good. I mean... You're really, I, like, tight friends, right? What? Like, you describe her as, like, like tight friends. Honestly, yeah. I mean, obviously, like, she's, like, a mom when she needs to be, but, like, uh, I do the wordle every day with her. <laughs> mm, nice. Obviously, nice. I taught her how to dap her up, like, dap me up. And then flip people off, right? Yeah, I when I first taught her how to, like, dap me up, and I was like, oh, like, my friends would love it if you do it this to them. And I told her, like, when I was doing that, like, after you do it, you flip them off. Like, that's just, like, I remember she did that to me every day, freshman yeah. year. Yeah, because yeah, so, when I went with Dapper up, she flipped her off. And then she's like, oh, no one's doing this. Is this really how you do it? <laughs> I was like, no. Um, no, she's really chill. I mean, she understands that, like, we're kids and isn't, like, scared of, like, what's going to happen to us, I guess. 
And since we're in a, yeah. We'll walk. We'll walk and talk. Okay, no. Keep talking. Uh, yeah, walk and talk. We're going mobile. We have the ending questions. Um, where do you see yourself in uh, 10 years? Fuck. Hopefully alive. It's the goal. Ugh. Lord knows. Sorry, I just went <laughs> on you. I thought you were going on the other side. Yeah, uh, yeah, Lord knows where I'll be in fucking 10 years. The goal is to be alive. But after that, um, I'll be out of school by then. I'll probably still be taking classes. Hopefully, at least. Okay. Uh, wait, Either. 10 years? Yeah. I'm, Are you going to try and go for a doctorate then? Uh, I want... I definitely want more than one degree. So either doctorate, master's, multiple bachelors. Okay. I want more than one degree for sure. So, um, I forgot what's the final question. Mine's good. Uh, just end it how you want. No, Fuck it. <laughs> no. no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> just end it how you want. I can end it how I want. I'm hoping I'm alive in the five year reunion. We can do this again. Word. Word.